I stayed in the commune of Casaleccio de Reno, what we would call a suburb of Bologna. There's the main shopping street down to the river. Now just down there is where uh, Mark Antony met Octavius and Lepidus in 50 BC to form the Second Triumvirate. This is the road down here where I stayed, down there, uh, in one of those flats. Now, just in there you can see that picture. Now from here one takes a bus to Bologna for one euro or a train for one euro. Bologna railway station. It is 13 minutes past 10 and the train for Milan is due at 10.15 and here it is the train for Milan. I suppose six days of travel is not a really exhaustive study of Italian railways and I'm sure that Italian railways do have their problems. Wrong sort of snow, wrong sort of leaves on the line. But every train I went for in those six days arrived at the platform on time, left the platform on time and arrived at its destination on time. I never had to wait more than an hour for any connection or indeed more than an hour arriving on spec at a station or a train to wherever. This is the train I went to Ravenna on. It starts from here, so it's arriving at the platform quarter an hour early. It's a double-decker train, as you can see. Very new. And here we are, on time, at Ravenna. During my very full day in Ravenna, I was even able to take a train down to Classe, look round the basilica there, which is three or four miles away from Ravenna, have a meal, catch a train back to Ravenna, and then catch a train back to Bologna and incidentally still get back to Bologna for about 7 o'clock in the evening. We've had 50 years of talk on how to run railways in this country. All someone needs to do is go to Italy, ask them how to do it and come back and do it. Now let's just look at the food you can get in Bologna. Here's a nice little covered courtyard right in the middle of Bologna near Piazza Maggiore. And here we should find a nice little restaurant. Oh goodness, it's McDonald's. But anyway, if we go back to the little street just off Piazza Maggiore, on which we saw Santa Maria della Vita, we shall see a few more foods. Bologna, of course, is known for its bologna and its bolognese sauce, neither of which I saw when I was there. But just look at all the other things you could buy and eat in Bologna. Most of these were seen in that little street just off 
Piazza Maggiore. Just save Just a little further down I found one shot with a special cabinet for extra special foods. Probably a locked cabinet. You'll see that in a minute. Ah, here we are. Now, just look at all these extra special items here. Yes, Mike Fitty's digestive biscuit. Perhaps we should stop looking at food and uh, look at some other shops, mainly in Bologna but around. <coughs> now here are a few well-known names at two shops you could spend quite a bit of money I imagine. There's obviously a lot of money around here. There's even a branch of that well-known Yorkshire firm called Store, which we shall see in a minute. There you are, Store. Sound around Gucci, I don't know. Half of these places. But if that's not your scene, then come to this market in the piazza just outside the San Stefano complex of churches which we saw earlier. The ubiquitous police will no doubt upset wrongdoers but certainly seem to contribute to the civilised nature of uh, life as I saw it in Italy.